Hello and a warm welcome to News Click. I'm your host, Neenu Vyas, with a special program called Point of View, which brings you discussions, analysis, debates from the poll bound states. This is a program which cuts the clutter and tries to bring sense to the chaos. Today, we are going to talk about the battleground Goa, the smallest state with 40 Vidhan Sabha constituencies. There is a BJP, there is a Congress. But this time in the year 2022, it looks like a quadrangular fight with the X factors because of the presence of Aam Aadmi Party and the Trinamool Congress. What is the mood of the voter? What are the issues in this coastal state which are resonating in this election? And which way the voters will swing? But the biggest question right now in front of everyone is that can the grand old party Congress dethrone BJP this year and come back to power after 10 years. Joining me on the show, uh, former Chief Minister of Goa and Congress veteran Digambar Kamath. Mr. Kamath, welcome on News Click. Thank you. Mr. Kamath, my first question to you is that how difficult is this election really for Congress? I would not say that the election is difficult mm -hmm. but yes we all will have to work hard there's no doubt about it because okay. congress has regained uh, all the strength which we have were feeling that we have lost when 10 ml is defective <laughs> but one bold decision we took that these 10 defectors shall not be admitted to the party at any cost mm -hmm. rahul ji also spelled out the same policy and today we see that the defectors have remained out of Congress bound and they are now struggling to get re-elected. People have really appreciated that, that Congress first time in the history in the state of Goa have decided not to admit a single defector in its party. This has given a clear message to the people of but why do you think that the people defected from the party? You really uh, recently also had a symbolic oath taking where uh, the legislators pledged that they will not quit the Congress party. But why do you think See, were the people if, leaving if, if Congress? You, if you look at Goa's politics, right from 1990s, there were days when we had three chief ministers in two days. So that has mm. been the maximum uh, anti-defection uh, crazies before the courts were from Goa. So mm -hmm. Goa had a, that sort of tradition right from beginning. But today, the educated people, now the people are getting, younger generation is getting educated. Younger generation knows the things in the right perspective. And they feel that this should stop. Under no circumstances, this should be allowed to continue. And that is why we are getting a tremendous support from the general public. <laughs> yes, you are taking a good stand of not admitting any single defector without bothering about the winability capacity. Whether he's able to win or not, we are not bothered. But we said no compromise with respect to defectors. Now, but, when we went to take the pledge, there was a perception amongst the people that uh, the Congress party should take precaution to see that nothing happens like this. And one suggestion which came was that Goans by and large have full faith in their religion, irrespective of caste, creed, and community. If you are Hindu, you have a really, uh, faith in your religion. If you are Catholics, you have Within, you, are, you are Muslim. But how confident are you that the legislators will not violate that oath? Because no, it has this happened time, in the past. This, this time you have seen, you have new faces. God gave us an opportunity to select new faces, which people expected. Many mm -hmm. of our veteran leaders left. They left to join other parties. But that was a good thing and what was to happen. And probably God wanted that this, to, this thing to happen. And today out of 40, we have nearly 30, 35 new faces which are given to the people of Goa, which people have been saying that, yes, Congress should come with the new faces. That's a good advantage. <laughs> but Mr. Kamath, uh, uh, whatever uh, new experiments the Congress party is doing, but uh, if you look at the opinion poll surveys which have come recently, they all are giving BJP uh, anywhere seats between 15 and 20. So which means that uh, BJP I, I, I do not, a I do not, majority to I form do the not government. Believe, I do not believe in these opinion polls. These polls are all formulated by the state interest. Today, you can get any <coughs> poll done anytime and get it on any channel and start discussion. That has no, no meaning. You have to come to Goa, visit Goa, meet the people, see the mood of the people. 
people are angry with the ruling dispensation i don't think anybody who has lost people in the covid mismanagement will ever think of uh, voting for bjp 3500 people have died sheer because of the mismanagement 300 people have died because of shortage of oxygen they are not they have not died they have been murdered by this government i will make a categorical statement because oh, this is a responsibility of the government <coughs> to supply oxygen what the hell they were doing when people were dying people had to file an pil in the high court and high court express saying that this is what is happening this is really uh, a mockery of democracy you are given a, a mandate to rule the state it is your responsibility at good governance means what you expect to take care of the health of the uh, people of goa and you have um, 3500 people die in a population of 15 lakh but mr farmer there have been yesterday there have been 15 deaths what the government is doing 15 but people mr. have Kamath, died yesterday but mr kamath the most difficult question is that even if congress gets numbers and uh, looking at what happened in 2017 you had the numbers and then also the congress it seems was sleeping over and couldn't form the government and bjp jumped into the wagon and came to power so are you prepared this time for a plan b supposing if you do not have the numbers how agile the congress is going to be because last time everybody party, remembers party, that vijay singh did inform the high command but you were not able to form the government our observer our senior observer in charge of goa mr p chidambaram has categorically stated that we apologize to the people of goa because in the last election people have realized that <laughs> bjp should be kicked out they had kicked out the bjp they were brought down from 21 seats to 13 seats and uh, we went from 9 to uh, 17 plus 1 18 seats he said our leadership made some mistakes we will see that this time those mistakes are not repeated and he apologized to the people of goa for having done those mistakes he was very blunt in saying right but mr kamath the uh, you know the the constituency and the voters always look for a change and this time in 2020 our people are having a viable option in the presence of trinamool congress as well as aam aadmi party and both are very confident that they're going to do well in goa so how much is the dent these parties are going to bring into congress and how how much of the vote will they cut into see as far as trinamool congress is concerned people have anger against this party because this party came just 3 4 months before they have no contribution to the state of goa they have no workers they don't have any leaders in goa they poached congress leaders took them inside everybody knows why they have uh, poached congress leaders how they have poached congress leaders what were the offers given to them that means the general perception in goa is that tmc came to goa thinking that goans are wholesale for sale we have seen the sales of clothes we have seen the sales of wholesale uh, sales of garments like that probably they thought that goans are also for wholesale sale and goans have an anger against them they say you have come you are trying to buy goans with money never goans are uh, goans have a clear cut self respect they will work hard they will toil hard but they will not sell their self respect they are going to teach a lesson to trinamool congress i i always believe that bengal and goa were very known football teams there the, the football is there uh, one of the state sports both have good uh, players whenever goa and bengal is to meet goa is to score goals against bengal and send them home i am sure this time also goans will send uh, bengal home uh, and uh, probably mamta ji ji may have to say what pandit jawarlal nehru said in 1964 ajee bhai goa to <laughs> But Mr. Kamath, don't you think that uh, if you look at the hindsight, uh, probably Congress would have done better if you would have allied with Trinamool Congress uh, and you would have countered the mighty force of BJP better had you held hands with the Trinamool Congress? Don't you feel so? But how do you align with them? You break our own leaders and then ask us to align? <laughs> I don't think any leadership will agree for such type of a proposal. If they they were really serious, they should have talked to our leadership first before entering Goa. their presence was not there here as if they are they have come here as a b team of bjp just to spread the word it appeared and they are not targeted bjp leaders they are targeting they were targeted only congress leaders and now today you will be surprised most of the people who have joined them are started coming back the yeah, mgp no, mla lov mamlekar came back uh, the prasad gaukar came back 
all, all many people are living. Their own founder members are living now, saying that we have got some uh, these about uh, Trinamool Congress. This is not for but the Mr. people. But Mr. Kamath, you're saying that Trinamool Congress is a beat team of BJP. But what about Aam Aadmi Party? Are they also behaving the like a beat team of BJP? Aam, Aam Aadmi Party came to Goa last election also. If okay. you see their advertisement during last election, they had said that they will get 35% vote share. Vote share. Their holdings, posters, <laughs> banners. 35% vote share, 10 to 15 MLAs. What was the result? Uh, we had been telling that time that Aam Aadmi will not be able to win a single seat. And that has come true. They could not uh, win a single seat. On the contrary, most of their candidates lost the deposits. This was the reality. This election also, they have been trying to give freebies. They are saying free power, free water. Goans are not interested in getting free power and free water. Goans are, I said, Goans have self-respect. They work hard. They will toil for their work and they will sustain themselves. I was a chief minister for five years between 2007 and 2012. Not a single poor Goan came to me saying that I want free power, I want free uh, water supply. This is the this of the uh, Goan people. And that what is why Goans, Goans want Goa to be ruled by Goans. This is the thing. They don't want any outside regional parties to come and uh, uh, rule the state. But uh, Mr. Kamat, what are the, the, the issues which are really resonating amongst the voters in Goa? Because I was reading about a whole lot of issues like uh, employment, uh, unemployment, that mining is a big issue. Uh, what are the real issues which the voters See, are looking for? There are not one the and two issues. First, first, first issue is three linear projects. BJP government wants Goa to be a coal hub which Goans are opposing tooth and nail. You okay. remember when I was the chief minister, Goans were opposing SEZs. 17 yes. SEZs were approved. Three were notified before I took over as the chief minister. Yeah. I bowed to the pressure, pressure of the Goans. I listened to their voice because in democracy, people's voice is important. And the good government has to listen to the people's voice. I listened to them. I went to Congress president, Srimati Sonia Gandhi, explained to her everything. She asked me one question. What people of Goa wants? I said, they don't want SEZ. They stay with the people of Goa. These were our directions to me. That, that is the way we, with Congress party work. We scrapped the SEZs. Goa is the only state in the country. And Digambar Kamath is the only chief minister of Congress who scrapped SEZ, scrapped SEZ policy. So we showed guts that people's will is supreme as far as democracy is concerned. We had also okay. scrapped regional plan, listening hmm. to the pressure of the people. Similarly, we said, Scrap three linear projects. For whom you are uh, uh, making these three linear projects? You, for coal hub? For transporting coal from Goa to Karnataka? What is the benefit mm -hmm. to the Goans? Right. It's a clear cut. All Goans are up in arms against this double trekking of line, cutting of 75,000 tree. If you want to cut a single tree, you have to go 10 times, 15 times the forest department. Here you are trying mm -hmm. to cut 75,000 trees. And that also in a wildlife century. You are but trying to... From these Apart from these developmental projects, uh, Mr. Kamath, uh, Arvind Kejriwal has been promising uh, pilgrimage uh, tours to Ayodhya. And likewise, you know, these, these kind of pseudo-religious issues people, have come up. They are, they are promising lots of things because they know they can't come to power. Mm -hmm. Party which doesn't come to power, we have, which has no these of coming to power, can promise anything. They can promise even moon and sun. Now they are okay. distributing cards. Uh, 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 Ahmadmi Party is distributing cards. Arvind Kejriwal's uh, uh, guarantee, 5,000 rupees. Uh, mm -hmm. But Trinamool Congress is distribution card, uh, 10,000 rupees. Now some old ladies went to that card to the banks, saying that they want to withdraw 5,000. The banks told them these are duplicate cards. These are nothing to do with the bank cards. One lady came to me, my house, saying that, sir, you had given these cards. Uh, please give me 5,000 rupees. I, I said, I have not given this card. Person who has given this card stays in Delhi. If you want to go to Delhi, I will bear your traveling expenses by train. You have to find out that person and get 5,000 from him. People will not get fooled like this. Now you are talking about these assurances. In, in 2017, BJP said they will give unemployment allowance of 4,000 rupees hmm. per month. And they started going and filling forms from the uneducated uh, educated youth who don't have employment. Our people told them, we are not interested in filling the forms. If you want to really help us and take our support, give us six months advance. Hmm. You give us six months advance. Then we will think of what is the use of these cards? Well, you are fooling the people. Goans are not going to be filled. Goa has high rate of literacy, high per capita income. Who are, for whom you are distributing these cards? What, what is the meaning of these cards? These are all 
uh, assurances which they cannot even think of fulfilling and they are Mr. simply Kamath, pulling them mr kamath in every state there is one dominant factor throughout india which is being talked about and that is the modi factor how much is the presence of narendra modi going to matter to the goans really in this election goa is totally different in 2017 also goans voted against bjp you see that's what i have told you right from 21 states bjp came down to 13 in this election i am sure bjp from 13 may come down to 8 or 9 right they are all the top the former chief minister is a parsekar has resigned he is contesting the former chief minister son has been denied a ticket he is contesting so you you see the situation of, of the party here no but you are designing. saying that when narendra modi starts uh, bombarding the the poll landscape with his uh, rallies <laughs> and virtual rallies it's it, not going to matter it, too it, much it didn't it didn't have any impact in 2017 otherwise why okay. we would have gone from 9 to 9 to 17 plus 1 18 that is what i am okay. saying i again uh, remind you the words of pandit jawalal nehru ajee bhai goa ke lo these 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 words everybody will have to keep in mind and that is why in 2017 bjp was reduced from 21 to 13 they might have been able to form the government because they were ruling in but they came down to 13 this is the reality goans are in no mood to support and bring this dispensation back see their lok ayukta has passed orders in 21 cases involving right. lots of office bearers and these party people minister not a single order has been till today acted upon it is lying right. there right. former governor of goa directly said this is the worst and corrupt government which is there in goa that, so this, this is the situation you are saying that congress this time is very confident of dethroning bjp after 10 years right yes exactly because we feel we see the pulse of the people wherever we go people are responding to us saying that yes congress must come this time to power so okay. show them their place they have damaged us they have damaged us in all sectors you are taxi wala rickshaw wala motorcycle pilot they are crying for money they are comparing my period of 5 years with 10 10 years period of the bjp my But period of 5 years Palmer, 2000, 2007 to 2012 was considered right. as the period of prosperity where <laughs> poor people had money in their hand whereas bjp's rule of 2012 to 2022 is considered as the period of poverty where people don't have money common man is crying right but mr kamath uh, uh, bjp has a pramod savant but uh, who is congress's chief ministerial candidate because people keep uh, putting allegations that you know there is rampant factionalism in congress and which is why you know congress will go down the dumps that is the kind now, of perception which is being now, made now, out in now, delhi now, in the political now, corridors now, of now now there are hardly any leaders remaining in congress probably except me most of the leaders have <laughs> joined other parties but party's policy is very clear they take a decision based on their assessment as as whether Uh, uh after the election or before the election that is left to the leadership so i don't get disturbed by that i am all out uh, moving across the state to see that people are galvanized people are motivated and we see that congress comes back to power so am i speaking to the prospective chief minister of goa <laughs> i am a strong believer in god okay in 2000 2007 when i was made the chief minister by congress president i had not even dreamt of becoming a chief minister i was not in the race is the fact but if something is written in your this nobody can take it up no so but God you has... said that there aren't many faces uh, uh, to be the chief minister so that's what i asked you that you're confident of becoming the chief minister if congress comes back to power i am <laughs> confident of getting congress party back to power now okay. in who whose nasib <laughs> chief ministership is written is only god can tell you i can't tell you so who who else is there if apart is, from mr dinamal if it is, if it is, written, if it is re, uh, written in my nasib then nobody can snatch it <laughs> and no, if sure. it is not written no. in my nasib i will not get it this is my But logic Kamath, and this is my way of mr. thinking mr kamat who else is the chief ministerial face apart from you in congress that party will take a call at appropriate time okay that's quite a diplomatic answer but uh, uh, thanks for taking all the questions with a straight back uh, mr kamat wish you all the best you have a long day with a heavy campaign trail wish you all the best 
Thanks so thank much you, for joining. Thank you. Thank you so much, Neil. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Pleasure talking to you.